Hey folks, Fromark here once again with the Fromark Plays Show. This time around I'm going to be playing a season of NASCAR 98 on the PS1. Although this game is actually based off the 1997 season. I don't know why the EA Sports NASCAR games always did that. I always thought it was kind of strange myself. But yeah, I'll boot up a new season. And you get all kinds of different drivers to choose from here based off that year. I'll just kind of go through them here for a second. But yeah, this game came out originally on the PS1, though there is a Sega Saturn version of this game that I really appreciate. I've owned it a couple of times, but I don't currently have it in my Saturn collection. Maybe one of these days I'll have to pick it up again considering it's one of the cheaper games to get for the system, and I highly recommend having it for the system because it's actually one of the better racing games you can have. Saturn has plenty of good racing games though, and I've already made up my mind who I'm going to race as. In this house, this is an Earnhardt house, we do it for Dale here. Turn off some of these fancy settings, and I will turn up the opponent's strength just a little bit. Because I don't want to just cruise to easy victories. But yeah, that'll do it for the season settings. And let's see here. Hello, I'm Bob Jenkins for EA Sports, coming to you from Hampton, Georgia, home of the Atlanta Motor Speedway. Looking at the track layout, the 24-degree bank turns make this a very fast track for its distance. The drivers will no doubt be looking for passing opportunities on the long and ever-inviting back straightaway. So yeah, folks, before each race, you're greeted with a cut scene from the late, great Bob Jenkins, who used to be the NASCAR on ESPN race analyst and commentator and yeah I'm I'm I miss the good old days of NASCAR on ESPN it was Bob Jenkins and Benny Parsons and those were the good days but I mean anyways let's see here we got some Atlanta and Motor Speedway going on and this is actually the only game in the EA Sports NASCAR series that has the original Atlanta layout, the OG configuration. Which I've always been fond of this one, though they stopped using it after the 97 season. Which was actually really. There's a, it put on some pretty good races, especially in that last year. And there was this one race in Atlanta 97 where a dude hits a wall there, and the car just explodes pretty much. Like, the gas tank rips out of it. I mean, he walked away okay, but it was a gnarly looking crash. Ooh, it looks like I'm going to be starting fourth. Not bad, that's pretty close to the front. I think I'll be, be able to get something pretty good out of this race. And yeah, there's only 24 cars on the track at a time. Not too bad, honestly. That's a pretty fair amount of competition. Although the uh, max back in those days was 42, 43 cars. So there's a lot of drivers missing from this game, of course. But overall, it's not too big of a deal. The only time it really bothers me is in NASCAR 2000 on the PS1, where there's only like 16 cars on track, and then they, they brought it back up to 18 cars for 2001, that game, but... As far as all the NASCAR PS1 games go, I would say 98 and 99 and 2001 are the best. The thing I don't like about 2001 though, other than the low car count, is that every game after it for the PS1 is pretty much the same game, just copy pasted with different paint schemes. Which is kind of lame, but I mean by that point they were already making NASCAR games for the Xbox and the PS2, so the PS1 games were probably an afterthought. Yeah, I lost the, uh, I had the lead there for a second, I lost it pretty quickly. Now despite what those, uh, despite that blue gauge that tells you drafting, your draft is pretty much worthless in this game. Also, I'm gonna turn the music off because despite how much I really like Molly Hatchet's flirting with disaster, I don't want YouTube to come after me with their copyright stuff. Because that's never a fun time. <laughs> 
But yeah, the draft is worthless in this game. You make most of your speed up in the corners. Because you can't really... It's hard to pass cars on the straightaway in this game. Also, one thing to note is that you've got to be really careful going into the turns. Because the more you skid, the more likely your car is to just randomly break loose on you. And if it breaks loose, you're screwed. Because you can't really do anything until you hit the wall and... That's all fine and good, I guess. Ooh. Looks like Jeff Gordon's gonna lead this lap. Which, name a better combination than Jeff Gordon and late 90s NASCAR. I mean, that dude was winning more races than anybody else, it seemed. Like, I go back and watch a lot of those old races on YouTube, and it's like, this guy won most of them. It was pretty much between him and Mark Martin for a long time. Which... Dale Earnhardt, he, he was still winning races around this time. It was just... There was a bit of a slump, though, through 97. I, which he then broke by winning the 98 500. The Daytona 500. But, like, then he went winless again for, like, another year. But I should be able to get some wins for him in NASCAR 98 here. But, yeah, as far as... As far as the NASCAR PS1 games go, I, I would easily say NASCAR 99's the best. And I'll probably do a playthrough of that soon. I'll most likely try to record that off the uh, PS2 I've got. So I'll need to get the proper HD hookups to do that. Because I'm recording this one off my PS3 and it runs NASCAR 98 just fine. But it does this weird glitch with NASCAR 99 with the qualifying. Like, if I'm qualifying at a track and I'm going around the turns, the torns, the corners, I just start a... The video just starts to speed up or something. Like, it does, like, a weird frame rate thing, and it just overloads it or something, and I go around the corners way faster than I need to, and it's always a major distraction doesn't do that during the main events, it just does that during the qualifyings. Uh, yeah, I've got the leaders in my sight. It looks like I'm going to do pretty good at this one. Normally, I have a tough time in Atlanta because in most of my playthroughs in my spare time, it seems like the car is always breaking loose from me. But I also like to send it into the turns of most of the time in most games because that's how you make up most of your ground. In video games, you can do that kind of stuff. Although, although Ross Chastain that time, Martinsville proved that you can do that stuff in real life, but NASCAR frowns upon it. And I think they they made a rule about that because of what he did. <laughs> Which is still pretty badass how he did that. He was just... He gained like five spots and all he did was just drive the wall. Which you gotta watch, though, I guess, with that kind of stuff, because anything could happen when you're in the wall. But I do like how with modern NASCAR, they got those safer barriers, and the cars are much safer than they were when this game came out. And oh yeah, it looks like I might actually have a chance to battle Jeff Gordon here for the, for the win, for the dub. Yeah, the current configuration of Atlanta is pretty neat. The way they, uh, a couple of years ago, did all that banking. They added a bunch of banking and made it like a mini Daytona. But it would be, it would certainly be something if it still had this original configuration. And, hey, speaking of breaking loose, I broke loose. But luckily it wasn't as chaos-inducing as it could normally be. Although, I will admit, I'm likely not going to win this one. Unless some kind of miraculous thing happens. But yeah, recently they turned Atlanta into like a little Daytona-style track. And if it was like this, if it still had this design, it would certainly be a force to be reckoned with. But yeah, the uh, first... The first NASCAR game I remember playing was NASCAR 99. And that's a that's a pretty good game. It's it's got some pretty good songs in it too. They got a lot they were able to get rights to be able to use a lot more real music and 
like surfing with the alien and scuttle button and uh gear jammer and just some some overall classics in my eyes honestly surfing with the alien is one of the best pieces of instrumental rock i've ever heard in my entire life the first time i heard that old joe satriani going awol on the uh guitar there or may not awol but ape just going crazy on it man he was <laughs> Easily one of my favorite guitar players of all time. Cause I've never heard anything quite like it. I mean, there's there's some pretty good guitar players out there, but I, I don't think I could ever do anything as good as he does. Now I'm actually going to see him in concert. He's opening for Sammy Hagar in a few months. So I'm really looking forward to that. Yeah, just gonna zoom around the corners. You make up most of your speed in these corners, but I just don't think I'm gonna win this one, folks. But, hey, if I can hold on to the car, not break it loose anymore, hold on for third, I'll take it. I'm pretty sure I led a couple of laps at one point, so, I mean, I'll get some bonus points at least. I would think. If it's based off the old points system in NASCAR, they don't use this anymore. Back in the day, they used to have like a point system where if you lead one lap, you get five bonus points. And if you lead the most laps, you get another five points. But it's usually whoever ends up winning the race gets the most points and so on and so forth until last place gets the least amount. Which I'm kind of wondering how this season's going to end up going. Because I haven't practiced a lot of these tracks or played a lot of these tracks in a while. It's just NASCAR 98 sounded like a fun game to record. And I haven't recorded any NASCAR for the channel yet. And to me that was just kind of surprising considering I'm a pretty big NASCAR fan and I have been my entire life. So this just seemed long overdue. But we got one lap to go. One to go, sponsored by Credit One Bank. At least that's how it is in the real NASCAR. But yeah, let's see here. I don't want to do. I don't want to get too risky. I don't want to do anything to wreck the car. I just want to bring it home. See what I can do here. And it looks like I should be able to bring it home just as long as I can get around this corner. Ooh, I'm gonna hit the wall. Ooh, okay. Yeah, fourth is far enough back. It looks like I'm gonna come home with the podium. That's fine with me. Good stuff, good stuff. That, that could have turned out a lot worse, folks, just considering the fact that the car broke loose. And there's the rest of your results. And currently third in points, just 10 points back. And just flip through the rest of these, see how everybody else is doing. <laughs> and 19th place has minus 69. Nice. So yeah, it looks like the next track on the schedule is Belmont. <laughs> you mean like you mean like Simon Belmont from the Castlevania game? That would be neat. But I think that's all the time I got for this part, folks. I'm going to go ahead and end it here. And I'll save the season, and I will see you in part two.